Hello, it's Gem Games, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create this effect that when you, for example, jump from a high place, or you can actually connect it to whatever you want, you can make the time game uh, time dilation, you can make it slower or faster or whatever you want. So it looks like this. So yeah, let's get started. So what I have here is a empty third person project. So it's easier for you to follow. So yeah, first you want to go to the third person folder or wherever your character is located and then to the blueprints. And now you want to open the BB third person character or whatever character you're using. Now, what you want to do is you want to create a new function. Let's call this function set new time dilation, like this. Okay. And what we want to do here, we want to click this uh, node and we want to add an input to here. Let's call this input time dilation. And let's change the type to float. Now let's add another input. It should all also be a float. Let's change this name to uh, interp speed like that. Now what we want to do, we want to promote this time dilation to a variable, not a local variable, normal variable. And also this interp speed, we want to promote this to a variable like this. We want to connect this and we want to add a real route pin to here so it looks a little bit nicer. After that, what we want to do, we want to create yet another variable. It should be type boolean. Let's call this variable change time three, uh, time dilation. Okay, and after this, we want to set it to true. So let's get it. Let's set it and let's make it true like that. Now let's compile and save. We can actually close this one. So after that, we want to create another uh, function. Let's call this function interp time violation. Okay. And what we want to do here is we actually first want to add a branch. So B and left click. And we want to check if the change time dilation is true. Okay. And if it is true, we want to add another branch. So B and left click again and connect, get from the true and connect it there. Like that. Now, what we want to do here is we actually want to get our global time dilation. So get global time dilation. And we want to check, check if this is not equal, not equal to our time dilation, which actually should be uh, called, uh, let's rename that, let's call it target time dilation, like that. So yeah, and I will actually move this change time dilation to here. Okay. Now let's get the target time dilation and check if it's not uh, equal to the global time dilation. So basically, if it's not equal, we can continue. And what we want to do here, we first want to get the set time dilation, set global time dilation node. Let's get from the true. And here, what we want to do, we want to get from the time dilation and we want to f interp to like this. And the current, we want to get the get global time dilation again. Let's connect it there. And also to the target, we want to get the target time dilation. To the delta time, we can just get the get world delta seconds, like this. And to the interp speed, 
we can actually get this interrupt speed and we can connect it to there like that. Okay. Actually, we would want to. Okay, okay, not nothing. Sorry, sorry about that. So that should be done. Let's compile and let's actually save all. Now let's go to the event graph. We want to get our event tick. And to the event tick, we want to connect the interrupt time dilation. Like that. Okay. And how this works? So it checks every tick that if if we want to change the time dilation. After that, if we want to change it, it will check if the time dilation is is not same as the target time dilation. And if it's not, it will interpret it slowly to the target. And actually, we will have to do one more thing here. Let's move this a little bit further right. And we want to get the change time dilation and set it to false from defaults. So if it is the same as target time dilation, then we want to set it to false. Like that. Okay, now let's compile and save. Let's go to the event craft and, and let's actually connect uh, the set new time dilation to something. For example, to the jump. So let's get the set new time dilation. Let's set the time dilation to like 0.2. Oh, what did I do? Point two, and interrupt speed. Let's make it like five. Okay, and now if we play it, it will just make the game move slow, but it will not make it uh, or like interrupt it back. So we will want to get a event on landed, and we want to get the set new time dilation again, and we want to set the time dilation to one which is the normal game speed and interrupt speed let's make it also like five and with this interrupt speed you can change the speed how fast the uh, time dilation changes so let's see so let's compile i will actually move this to here next to the interpreter map and let's play actually i want to play on the new window editor new editor window sorry so now if i jump you can see the game goes much slower and it will move back to the normal speed after that. Okay, and I'll, uh, I can actually show you quickly. So if you set this to like 5 and this, sorry, you can set this to like 2 and that to 5. So when you jump, it will change the time much slower like this. It will go uh, quickly back to the normal speed. So yeah. I think that was all for this video. If you like what you saw, please click the like button and subscribe for more. And yeah, hope you have a great day and see you in the next one. Bye.